All right, we made it to Florida no time here. Got the car unloaded, got another F body next to us. Alpha's on the laptop there. They had, they had a fish fry here last night. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. But the car's still pretty dirty from FL2K. Just packed the chute. Alpha's throwing a fresh tune up in there. Looks like, oh, looks like Jack stands over there helping. Huh. And then next door, we have Mr. Kevin KSR brought his car out, old soccer mom, and he's in the same class as me, so it's fun. Last time me and Kevin lined up, didn't go well for me. Ended up doing a big wheelie. Wait, you're giving the wheel again? <laughs> you ready to drive? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? Right. first pass off the trailer went right down everything felt good got right on the brake it went a 490 pretty light easy tune up it felt like so we definitely have some more in it on that deal and it was in the heat of the day it was, it was pretty hot out but went right down a lot of cars were spinning so we're super pumped about that and uh time to load up for q1 all right here we go first round i got this mustang you see this thing joey Ain't got enough food. Dang, dude. You see that titanium? He's got a carburetor. You're okay. Blow through carburetor VS turbo. That thing might be fast, though. I don't know. I mean, it, it's probably a thousand pounds lighter than my car. <laughs> and he probably revs that thing to like 11,000. <laughs> and the turbo's just dying. <laughs> but yeah, so we got that guy. Should be a fun race. We got the little canal in the right hand lane. They had a little problem, so they put a band aid on the bike corner. All the friends say, I know Victor, he's trying to get him to strike the train. He still got a baby, he still got a baby. Going to get some little hatchback Mustang in the left lane. Can you just watch him for one second? Got so much smoke sticking out of the hood, he just said, Forget the hood, I'm ready to go. Leave it off, I'll go back and get it tomorrow. Well, that was fun. No idea what happened there. It wouldn't get off on the trans brake. I'm, I'm trying. I rolled in and thankfully he left me all the time in the world to screw with it. And, you know, I didn't even, couldn't even bump in, couldn't even get on the trans brake. And then when I rolled out, it just was popping and sputtering and unhappy. I tried to, tried to get in and keep on it, but it just, it just didn't do it. It just was some kind of weird gremlin. Um, Alpha has the log. So hopefully I find out soon what the problem is and I'll let you guys know. But sometimes you suck. Sometimes shit happens that you have no control over. And once that happened, I had no control. You guys saw the first pass. Great. Perfect. Went right down. Boom. Done.
no problem. Good 60 foot, good, good everything. And this guy, just freaking, just wasn't there for me. The stars did not align. You know, I, I, I couldn't do anything more as a driver, which is frustrating. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, got out early, went on home, and didn't really film a whole lot more because some some issues happened, and I had to get home quick. Uh, everything's fine, but I had to I had to basically pack up and run home. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about all I, I need to really say. Everything's fine, but unfortunately. Um, so, tough break. Uh, hopefully we find out what the problem was, but... And you guys saw I could have had that car. I could have... I was, I, I, I was like, not even under power, and I was staying on him. Well, um... I, I, my, my brain had to know if it was low oil. Um, it's not. I just drained it and there's plenty of oil. Um, there's one full, it's like eight quarts in there, basically. Seven and a half quarts, which is plenty of oil. So one thing checked off the list. It wasn't that. It wasn't, it wasn't a error on my part there. So that makes me feel a little better. Thank you.